Well, we received a call from the county humane officers that there was a property that had been overrun with cats. It's a call any animal lover hates to get. Come here, sweetie. And when Lynn Olenek from the Humane Animal Welfare Society of Waukesha County went out to the home last week, her team found 40 cats the first day. The following days, even more. We found out a few more that she had another property, and altogether, we collected 144 cats in a week's period of time. These are pictures of some of the cats. Most were either found dead or in terrible shape, that the only option was to euthanize. They were underweight, they were dehydrated, they had numbers of different types of infections going on. Fortunately, Hawes was able to take back 50 of them, some as young as three days old. This is Aiden. We named them all with um, Irish names. Very social and ready to go to a new home, but others require a bit more attention. They are in various stages of upper respiratory, and they'll be spayed or neutered. They'll be dewormed, they'll get their vaccinations. While they'll eventually go to better homes, Olenek says this should serve as a reminder to be watchful of owners with signs of hoarding, like odor, excessive pet waste, and cats with poor coats. They just are have such an emotional bond that they're unable to release them. And something goes a little haywire, and all of a sudden, you know, 20 turns to 40, turns to 80, and these animals are continuing to breed. In this case, a simple call or welfare check earlier could have saved dozens of these little lives. It's very difficult for the staff involved. That's not why we're here. We're here to save lives. It'll be some time before these cats are put up for adoption. So until then, Hawes is asking for donations of cat food, kitty litter, towels, and money so they can provide the necessary treatment. In Waukesha, Angelica Duria, Box 6 News.